Hi guys, welcome to Catch Presents. Uh, this is a new series that we're doing with um, the catch artists and everyone who's on their roster. Just sort of, you know, staying, staying up to date with everyone and what they've been up to in, you know, these times and checking out what they're doing now. So um, our first guest that we have on the show is Tenzin. So how are you, brother? Good, mate. How are you? Yeah, really good, mate. Really, really good. Excited to get it down here and do a bit of podcasting. Yeah, mate. Have a chat and just see what you're up to, man, you know, and, and what you have done in the past because you're so prolific. Like, you've been around for years, mate. Um, yeah, I'm not counting because, you know, if you count it, tells, it makes – then you actually know how old you are. But yeah. um, I'm getting there, getting older. Yeah. Been around for a fair few years. Um, done a sh- Fair shitload. We'll probably go through a lot of that. Yeah, exactly. Well, let, let's talk about like some of the stuff. Like you know, grass is green on. That's something that you've been involved in. You know, the last yeah, couple so of it's years. The last four. I think we've done five now. Four or five. Can't yep. remember, four or five. Um. So I just host the main stage. And um, what is that hosting a main stage? When you say host so a main host, stage, what's so that? What's all, that entail? Well, it starts out. It started out at Future Music, where we developed the, yep. the you're the host thing. But um, so basically, you're the guy introduces all the main acts. The headline acts. Yeah. Um, you play in between, keep the vibe up, keep the crowd hyped, and yeah. basically just make it a whole heap of fun for everyone. How was that at Future? Future's wild. R.I.P. Future's, Future's too. But Future's like, wild. Those, those were so so great back in the day. So yeah. What was like, uh, any so highlights I from remember, those? Oh, mate, there's a plenty of highlights. Yeah. Like, I was, I was trying to think. Um, let's have a think. So Future was so long ago now, but like yeah. some of them, some of the main ones. Like I played before Swedish House Mafia. After Fatboy Slim, um, played before like Drake, Two Chains, Block Party, fucking like you name an artist yeah. and they're, they're probably on my stage. So the, like, you end up hanging out, and the best thing about being the host was uh, you'd have your own dressing room, like there'd be the artist compound in the artist area, but behind this that stage, that main stage, I'd have my own room, my yeah. own compound, except for when Drake was there, he had his own compound, which yeah, I was yeah. in one 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 first one site, I think Sydney. They accidentally put my room in Drake's compound, so we had to share. Yeah. He, well, he was not happy. He's not happy at all. He's like, who's this Tenzin guy? He's like, like, <laughs> and they're like, do, they told all my crew, do not film Drake. Like, and I'm yeah, like, yeah. the next morning, my camera guy comes to me and goes, mate, check out these photos of Drake. I'm like, yeah, it's like, like, dude, the I'm like dude, dude, the one thing, the get one rule you had. Yeah, yeah. Like, um, but yeah, Drake was cool. <laughs> but uh, the, mate, the highlights. Some of them, the, before Swedish House Mafia was like, that's yeah. definitely a highlight. I remember um, one of the most the scariest moment of it was like you're playing, there's 40,000 people out there. Yeah. And I look over and I dropped, it was like Dennis Koi Tung, I think it was called Tung. Yeah. And Angelo's giving me dirty looks like, yeah. going, you motherfucker, <laughs> you're yeah, yeah, it's like, like this is from our set, you know what I mean? Like, um, Yeah, that's it. Yeah. But, it's a, every, whenever you like play something that, you know, the headline is like, going to play in that, they're always you like, don't, oh, you, but just, you don't know all the time. You yeah. know, yeah. Yeah, yeah. And you want to make it similar music that they play yeah, exactly. as well. Like you got to, you're warming it up for them. Suppose, and you don't so. want to just be a, you want people to recognise you as well without yeah. ripping taking away from them, you know what I yeah. mean? And that was one of the, the key things of being a host, like setting it up for that artist too, like yeah. smashing it in the middle, getting everyone interacting and then pulling it back on their on their genre, on their style, on their genre yeah. um, and making it just slide into them perfectly, yeah. you know what I mean? And then obviously introducing them. That's yeah, it. yeah. Exactly, and then shooting yeah. a few um, air horns off and t- oh, yeah, just having a fun few, on stage. Just like being a menace. Bandanas. It sounds like you just get to be a menace on yeah, stage. That's, that's the best part. You pretty yeah. much own the stage. It's yeah, like, yeah. It's good. Just go out and do whatever you want. Yeah, man. Um, so what about the grass is greener stuff then? Like that's a very so similar the grass thing. Is, yeah, similar. So there are a couple of uh, mates of mine that actually named Ollie and Johnny. They um they started Ollie, it yeah. in Cairns and um they basically we, they knew me. We were friends with DJing and yeah. stuff. And then we went from there to doing, like, hosting it. And I was like, can put me on a set. And he goes, do you want to just be the host like you do at Future? And I was like, perfect. Yeah. Um, and it's just evolved and evolved. And now that festival's doing really well, except, obviously, the COVID this year's yeah. cancelled. <laughs> this year's cancelled Breaking everything. news, yeah. guys. Yeah, if you <laughs> this didn't one's know. <laughs> um, yeah, so that's cancelled. So we'll um, bring it back 2021. Yeah. But, um, it's crazy actually saying that, right? Yeah, you know, I know. It's, everything's like moving like, back. And yeah, that. so like, we're going to book it in for 2021. <laughs> it's, well, Plenty of time to write tunes then. So Yeah. So you know, how, how's a, that been? Have you that's been, been great. Been writing tunes? So I went through, to be honest, a little depressed stage like yeah. in, in lockdown. Like my all my livelihoods are gone, been taken away from me. Yeah. You know, my, my gym stuff and then also my whole entertainment industry is just falling yeah. apart. So it's like… Uh, 
was good for a bit and then I just started drinking too much every night yeah. and like, you know, I literally I've never been depressed but that lockdown got me a little bit, a yeah. little bit depressed to be yeah. honest. Like, so what got you out of it? Was it writing tunes just, and getting back into sort of that yeah, fitness, the studio just get, kind of vibe? Fit, yeah. just, just, I'm just snapping out. I just, you, I just go, no, nah, this is not for me. <laughs> you yeah, know, you got to yeah. snap out of it. Just got to do it. I'm strong-willed. Like, yeah. you, you got to just like, in the end I know that's not me, like, yeah. you know, and it's going to get better. Yeah. And it kind of have. We've got through the bad bit. But it was, yeah. there was a couple of weeks that I was like, this sucks. Like, Especially you're in Queensland. At least we can go out and do fun stuff. You just want to do yeah, everything. Still like, do things. Yeah. Some things. Some things. Yeah. Well, we're lucky up here. We're very yeah. lucky. And because I'm from Sydney, I've been living in Sydney before. Yeah. I've been here a year now. You're in, yep. Yeah. And um, but in Sydney, it's like they had it worse. And then Melbourne's. Melbourne's screwed, just, yeah. Which is yeah obviously. It's terrible. They're, I just don't even like reading their face, but all my Melbourne friends are on their face. Yeah, it's like, and it's so geez, funny because the music industry, we've all got so many Melbourne yeah, friends. And everyone's like, whinging and everyone's a professor. Mm, and you're like, shut up. So, <laughs> so what kind of tunes have you been writing? Like, so I've been writing You've like done trap. heaps of stuff all, you know, throughout the years, so, so what are you doing? Right now I've got mainly trap, trappy dub kind of stuff, but I've got yep. one come on a commercial commercial house on the commercial house vibe. Yeah. Um, just experimenting a lot. I do enjoy writing that heavier trappy dub stuff because yeah. it's a bit more technical. Yeah. Um, sound it's harder to kind of make. Yeah. yeah, the sound design's harder and it's harder to make. Like house tunes, you can get, get a pack off Splice in like yeah, two yeah. minutes and have a track up. That's right. Yeah. But um, it's harder. It's just harder to make it great. And mm. I don't know, coming from that rock background, it's kind of gives me that, I don't know, a bit more of a yeah. rock and roll feel, I yeah, guess. Yeah, I suppose it is like that heavier sort of sound yeah. as well. Like, and you know. when you play it, and it goes nuts and in the in the club. Yeah, it's fucking fun. <laughs> so is that so you dropping heaps of like that kind of stuff nowadays? Because you've always I played a heap of stuff. My sets go everywhere. Yeah. So it's ne- I'll never pigeonhole myself to one genre because I just love music. You know what yeah. I mean? Like I love I love every style of music. Yeah. Except for there's a few except I don't for. like. There's a few you don't like. <laughs> I like I enjoy all styles of music. Yeah. But there's a couple I I just don't play. But yeah, um, yeah, it's just well, it's got to fit in with what you do. But then they end up growing on you, you know, like a yeah. stupid train. You're like, I fucking hate this sound, and then yeah. next minute you're playing it because yeah. it's like it just grows on you. Yeah, yeah. But um, I'm yeah, I'm loving it. Loving the writing music. That's that's a good thing. Yeah. About not having Friday. Friday night's my songwriting night. Last night yeah. I had a few ciders, um, yeah. a few fireball shots in the studio solo, yeah. and a little bit dusty today. Yeah, I'm yeah. Lie, oh, that's that's fine, mate. That's yeah. fine. That's, we're all a bit dusty sometimes, and yeah. as long as you got some tunes done and some, you know, some yeah, well, that's, stuff. That's like, the way I look at it. If I'm going to have drinks, I'm going to do music. Yeah, because it's like you know, it's fun. That's fun when you're in the studio yeah. or, or you know wherever it is, and just have a few drinks and it's, get the juices flowing and stuff like that. Definitely, and, yeah. definitely. There's yeah. nothing better than just like, well, you're there solo as well. So you're like, all right. Yeah, may as well just have some it's fun. It's just me. Like, yeah. Yeah. It's, it's not get, like get DJing it. where you, you've got the whole crowd in front of you and it's like you do something cool. It's like you're at home so you're just like, oh yeah, we'll just have You're like, food. is this good? You kind of yeah, like, like before, before we came and I played yeah. you guys that song, you're yeah. like, look at this weird African vocal. Yeah, yeah, yeah that's right. Yeah. You don't know if it's good until yeah. you play it to someone. That's right, yeah. It's interesting working in the studio as opposed to DJing, hey. like yeah, I miss DJing a lot. I cannot wait to yeah. start playing. Actually, I might have a gig. I haven't told my management yet but um, <laughs> <laughs> I'm old. Write that down. <laughs> yeah, yeah. No, yeah, I might, sure. I might have a gig for Halloween, which is which would be awesome. Oh, announcement. Halloween um, gig, potentially. It's not locked in, so I can't even. No. It's uh, DJing for a MC, I know. But, um, oh, cool, yeah. Yeah, but I'm not going to mention names yet. So. No, no, don't, don't no. do it. So what? let's talk about some of your past, like, you know, tunes and stuff. Like, you've done some big stuff with so, some, some yeah, big artists so, and that. So what's uh, what's some of your favourite ones and, you know, that you've when you've worked with some other artists and stuff like that? So... My favourite tune probably, it's not even mine, the remake of Raven. It is mine, obviously. I remade every part. But yeah. that tune has been, like, iconic in my sets the last, since it came out, however long, two and a half years ago probably. Yeah. Um, it's like we get the whole club to sit down. and so it's a, It was an iconic rave anthem when I was just starting out, you know what I mean? Yeah, and To yeah. remake it and be able to use it in your sets flat out yeah. and it's the biggest weapon you've got. It's, That's it's amazing. Sick, yeah. Like. The, watching those whole the whole crowd sit down and you know being able to do that is being like, able to control the crowd yeah, it's through a, good, a song is like yeah. pretty pretty great you know it's like, fun man yeah. and now that's one of the things I'm really trying to focus on now is writing sick tunes that will throw down at any festival you know yeah, I mean? yeah like stuff that is gonna make everyone interact and yeah. go nuts like yeah, instead just of just flogging out tunes yeah. that for the sake of it yeah you know for I mean? the sake of it or whatever. Mm. 
What about some of uh, like because I want to know about you know how it works maybe a little bit working with like some other artists and stuff that so you've yeah. worked with because so you've done stuff Snoop. with some big guys yeah like Snoop. Snoop so and we that. Did, like it's weird those ones we got we got the vocals off them so they and just like sort of do it and send it and go yeah they're like, like look, this, we want to track we want we've got this Snoop vocal that he hasn't used do you want it do you guys want it and we're like. Hell yeah. yeah. Like, nah, we'll pass on that. Like, nah, of course you're gonna say yes. Is that yeah. the guy from the Uber ad? <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's it. It's like no. Is yeah. it no Uber Eats? Yeah. Mate, that ad's great. But um shout out to Snoop. Oh, um, Snoop Dizzy. Yeah. But uh the um yeah, I think work like even Nicki Minaj that we didn't really um get a chance to meet or anything. I wish yeah. that'd be cool. It's just hard when you're in a different, you know, country or whatever. Yeah. It's like if you were maybe over there on tour or touring something, yeah. you could you could you know, it'd be good to get up, in. but, uh, but uh, that'd be the dream. Just like doing actual sessions with them, like, yeah, it, it'd be fun. It's like, oh no, can you do that again? <laughs> we'll do it again one more time. Like, take it. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> you, know? you wouldn't get anything done with Snoop. He'd be so blazed up. Yeah, like, yeah, he'd just be there. Like, <laughs> I don't yeah, know just about you, but I can't smoke. When I smoke, I just want to go to Seven Eleven. So yeah, like, okay. yeah, I'm like, <laughs> I'm like yeah. straight to Seven Eleven. Yeah, but, yeah. But um, yeah, that's really cool though that you've you've done some of those tracks. Like so, so let's list off some tracks so people can right. go listen to them if they haven't, if they don't know. All right. You know, so the what tracks. we did, um, we did. Uh, let's just pull up a list. There's, yeah, there's that's so it. many. That's, there's that's, so that's, many. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Bring up um, some of your big ones, man. Well, because it's, got here. You know, and I understand this too because it's like you don't there's remember so many what, that you've done. Let's but, have a look. Let's have a little look. I know you've done the one with, like you said, with um, with Nicki Minaj. Yeah. yeah. Um, Snoop Dogg one. Um, what else you got in there? We That's did this, uh, uh, yeah, the one with um, Timmy as well. That that was Timmy's oh, yes. first record ever. Yeah, that was so that, that was fun. both of ours first release. Yeah. Um, and so did you guys actually? You actually got to like get together in person and write that one? Oh, I actually wrote the whole thing, but um, <laughs> <laughs> and and his trumpet line, but um, yeah. he, like, he was more than capable of writing a trumpet line, obviously. Oh, yeah. But he he was like he wasn't in that stage. I don't think he was even DJing yet. Well, I don't think we taught him to DJ. He was just playing. So this was years ago then. What, swear, way back before. What, um, year, what year were we talking? I mean, this is hard to pin down years, isn't it? When you, oh, when you mate, think back. So it's, oh, like, yeah. What year was it? it was, what year was it? it was doing no, so, this around then. Yeah. So he was. He used to just play trumpet alongside the Stafford brothers and I. Yeah. Me. So and then he's like decided to start DJing and. Yeah. And then I was like, all right, good sweet. move. <laughs> yeah. Well, very good move, mate. Yeah. The best. The best. DJ Australia's scene, yeah, yeah, really. Oh yeah, he's killing it, man. The most he's popular, it. the most successful for sure. Yeah, yeah, it's That's great. Awesome. So, so you had that one. Um, oh, yeah. What, what, what else you got? What else you got? Because I want some of the people, you know, if they don't, if they yeah. don't know you yet, which they they definitely should, um, you know, check um, out some of these tunes. Hold up, hold up. <laughs> Where's the list? Where's the list? Where's the? Let list? me let me get a list of ones that I've loved. Black Cyrus. I wrote Minaj. some down. Um, yeah, did you? What do yeah, you got? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Deep Below, we did with Snoop. Oh, the, yeah, yeah. The Behind Blue Eyes was a cracker. That was a monster. Yeah. Like millions of streams and stuff. Um, that's what about, the, what about the Pitbull remix you did? That yeah, that was just thrown to me. Really, to be yeah. to be completely honest, they um, I think I was with Central Station back then, and they um, yep. they're like, do you want to just get on get on this? And yeah. I don't know, like. I'm not a massive Pitbull fan, to be honest, but it's great to put your name on it. Yeah, and give your own spin to something too, <laughs> yeah, you know. Exactly. Like make something cool that people can, you know, play in, exactly. play in your sets or whatever it is or, or whoever I like. Yeah. yeah, that's always cool. Well, that's a, always what I try to do with the remixes as well, just try and make it something I'm going to play. Yeah. Like that's the key. Yeah. Some people you give them, like you'll see even make massive artists, they'll get a remix opportunity and it sounds nothing like you'd think they're going to, like their originals or whatever, yeah, like, you know yeah. what I mean? And it's, it's like, what totally the fuck? Like, just, what are they this? just yeah. stuffing around today? Yeah. Like, <laughs> yeah, for sure. And so what, um, have you got any tunes sorted, like coming out soon or anything? We or do. Are we, got, or are we still just in the, the writing phase? There's one called or, Escape. Escape? Es- Escape is going to be the next one. Yeah. It's, um, it's a great record. It's kind of like down tempo So because we're all in lockdown. No one's clubbing. Oh, nah, they kind of maybe some people are. I don't know. Yeah. Shit. Hopefully they um. There's Darwin's over. I went now. out last night. So did, where did you go? I, I went to Subrosa down the road. Um, and they had like a just a tech house night. So yeah, it was cool, man. Oh, just, dope. Just, How many um, people were in there? Uh, I don't know. What's their limit? <laughs> that, that many. Don't throw them under the bus. No, I, I don't know. They wouldn't. I think their limit's like a hundred, but they wouldn't have had 
that that many yeah. in there. But you know, it was a good vibe just to be out with people. Yeah, yeah. You know, and like see people. Where do you live? Music. Do you live here? Yeah, yeah, Brizzy, Brizzy, You're in Brizzy. Brizzy? Yeah. Uh, yeah, down at Carindale. So um, Carindale. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I've got an M forty five there. I've seen it. I drive past it all the time. So tell us about the F forty fives and stuff. Like, how did how did you get into this? Obviously, you must be into fitness. So yeah, yeah. I've always loved sport. I've always loved yeah. fitness. I've always loved like staying fit and healthy. Um, it's good to have balance. That is the key. Like, obviously, we've I've spent a lot of years partying. Yeah. Um, but the fitness and keeping the balance is definitely essential. I um started the F forty five. So basically, my one of my business partners, he started the first franchise ever. Now there's like four thousand around the world. Yeah, cool. Um, but he, he and another mate, got, we got we were best friends, all best friends. We yeah. um decided we're going to open one in Brisbane, basically. Yeah. And then um, I was seeing this ex girlfriend at the time, she wanted in as well. Yep. We just went, all right, let's do it. Yeah. Um, we just bought the territory back then when there were territories available. Now yep. there's none. Yeah, <laughs> but yeah. It's like. Australia sold out for that. Yeah, because it's um, so it's you know to me it reminds me of like you know footy footy sort of workouts where it's like groups and stuff like that and you're really doing like you know that circuit sort of you know rotating and stuff like that. Like it's just, I love that. It's that you know you yeah. sort of get that that camaraderie with everyone else who's doing it. So. That is the key with them, yeah. with them especially like just keeping the friendly group atmosphere yeah. and you see people who would never be friends end up being really good friends. Yeah, like, you know like they're so from totally <laughs> end, different ends of the spectrum. Yeah. And they um they end up being really close friends and hanging out and like yeah, it's good. It's yeah. good what F forty five does. And yeah. obviously making people lose a lot of weight and yeah like yeah get fit and healthy. Like you, know, you got to do that kilos stuff. and it's like they brand new people. It's yeah. like you've changed their life. You've yeah, made a difference. That's awesome. Yeah, that's and you've got two. You, you said yeah, we own one in um, mm-hmm. me, me and Ollie and Johnny who was talking about from Grass yep. Arena. Um, they uh, we all partnered up and bought Lismore as well, which is yep kind of. It's a little bit far. It's a yeah. bit of a drive down there. But yeah, um, yeah. I grew up in Byron Bay, so I was like, you know, I know Lismore. Yeah. Um, I used to play soccer there as a kid and stuff. So yeah, I was like, yeah. I'll give, it a, give it a go. And it's going pretty good Yeah, getting getting there. But, yeah. but the hardest thing, obviously, with the border restrictions the moment, right now, yeah. I can't even – it's all remote. I'm like training staff on first yeah. time. And, and but all that. the gyms, like, they're open now again. But like, yeah, they're, yeah, they're open. With New South Wales are capped to like 20 per session. Yeah. Um, I think – Queensland's fifty for group yeah. group sessions. Yeah. Fifty is heaps. That's yeah. Plenty. Yeah. Yeah. Um, but yeah, the New South Wales ones. I don't know. We can get by with twenty, definitely. Yeah. Cool. And if everyone's safe, awesome. Yeah, that's <laughs> the thing. Hey, yeah. that's the thing. So, um, so let's talk about where you've toured. Like, you know, I, I know you've done. You know, you've toured heaps of places yeah. over the years. What everywhere? Uh, <laughs> where, where haven't you toured? Maybe yeah. that's a better I question. Done maybe a whole heap of Europe. Yeah, uh, America. Um. Yep. I did get in trouble once, and then I don't think I was. I didn't think I was going to get to America. Yep. But um, the the I, like I've played in Ibiza, I've played in Asia, Hong Kong, Singapore, Malaysia. Um, where else is there in Asia? Indonesia. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, then um, where else I played? New Caledonia, um, yep. New Zealand. Like they're the closer places. All yep. around Australia, obviously. Most weekends when we're when we're the no, yeah, back Australia, in action, like, yeah. you're always you're all over the place. It's actually weird. This is the longest time of ever. Like obviously since I started DJing, yeah. that I haven't been on a plane. Yeah, it feels really weird. Yeah, like this not- probably good for you though. It's probably really good. It's yeah, all that radiation yeah. and yeah, all. I don't know. Just, just yeah, going up in the air all the time. Like yeah, those little little um, cylinders of. Flying through the and sky. Then little cylinders of farts. Just yeah, like, just breathing everyone's stuff. Three hundred farts circulating. I suppose that's one thing you probably don't miss about touring at the moment. Like, is all that travel and stuff. That's like the, definitely the travel and downtime. People don't see that kind of stuff. You know, when you you've got the plane flight and then the transfer out to you know you might have to drive four hours to somewhere then you know to a festival or something. Yeah, people don't see that at all. Yeah, they just see the one little Snapchat of you on the stage. Yeah, <laughs> they don't the see one it. hour yeah. when you're on stage having fun. And, but yeah. then in flip on the flip side, you know what I mean? Like we're going there. For one hour of work, which and then we tra- travel a whole day. Some days, like yeah, it's um, it's good. I wouldn't change it for the world. Yeah, like you know, even the traveling an hour for two hour drive. Sometimes you do a four hour drive. You just suck it up. Yeah, like unless you get some guys chewing your ear off, like uh, you know, yeah, like and yeah. you're like, 
Sometimes you get you get stuck in a bad trip. Yeah, yeah. Like, someone's like, like driving you somewhere, and they're yeah. just like they're just so keen for a chat. And you're like, <laughs> so and you're, and like, you're like, man, you're like, you don't know. I've what had like last two night. hours sleep, bro. Like, you know, yeah, you don't know what like happened that. last night. Don't yeah, me. yeah. No, that's it. Um. Yeah. So what? What? Uh. What? What do you got coming up? Then you know we've got. You said like some tunes that are coming out, but yeah. are you are you you going for a particular sound with what you want to release or? You just like doing well, the fun, so, like yeah, you said, like, like I whatever said, so you the, sort of the love. The new one is really a bit more down tempo, yeah, a bit more chill because the club is not open. So like, yeah. it's like just, and we all, it's called escape. We all want to escape really yeah. right now. So it's like, we can't do anything. We just want to escape this planet, really, don't we? Like that's it. Like, yeah, get escape the COVID, escape the world. Um, just. Yeah, but it's it's more for good listening. It's not it's not designed. That's what I think at the moment everyone's yeah. into more. It's the it's listening. Exactly. It's like you're not gonna go home and you don't wanna get amped up because you can't go anywhere. Yeah. That's, <laughs> like, that's right. you know what I mean? So have you enjoyed making that then? Because yeah. you know, it's it's great to make different genres and stuff fun. like you're talking about. Um so more the, the down tempo or or yeah. sort of like, you know, more listening sort of music can sometimes be fun to do, like Everyone keeps telling me they're doing lo-fi projects at the moment. Really? Well, everyone's loving it. They're really? like, they're like, oh, it's so easy because you don't that? have to make it sound good. <laughs> oh, because you just yeah, it's you so know what easy I mean? to make and it sound shit. And it's easy, yeah, and it's easy, like easy to do. They're like, oh man, I just like smash out like one a week and just like upload it. Like you know, they just put yeah. them out on like a thing and they're like, get shit loads of plays. You know, like, that's it's, cool because it's just everyone's in that easy listening sort of like mode, like you said. Yeah. Um, to do that, so it's yeah, the lo- the old lo-fi thing. What about you being making music? Yeah, man, I'm always making music at the yeah, studio, nice. but um, busy with all the podcasting and stuff, you know. Awesome. Which is, but it's great because it's it actually inspires you to then go and write. Because it's like you know, you talk to someone like yeah. yourself, and you're like, oh, I'm, I'm loving doing this and doing that, and then you're like, oh, sweet, well, man, I gotta I gotta finish that tune, or I gotta go write that kind of you know that stuff. So um, yeah, nice. What yeah, do you what do you use? Ableton. Yeah, yeah I'm an Ableton guy. Yeah, yeah. 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 yeah what same. About you? same. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I used to use Cubase and stuff. And Cubase. I use Cubase and Logic for a little bit, but mainly just Ableton. Yeah, it's um, it's, it's a no-brainer. I, I guess like throughout the years, you probably you know Ableton's sort of come into its own in more recent times and stuff yeah, like that. It's pretty you know? far. It's just I mean, for me, everything's about speed, especially like Workflow, yeah. I, when I was when we we're touring flat out, it was like I do the majority of my writing would be in a hotel room, yeah, or like on a plane or something. So you yeah. like. It's all about speed. You got to before that seatbelt sign comes on. You, yeah, you got to yeah. get something done before the seatbelt sign that's comes right. on. Yeah, yeah. Then, yeah, that's cool. Yeah. And so that's you. You obviously, you know, like you said, do you enjoy like writing in that kind of environment where it's like a, you know, you get you're out in the world doing things or traveling in a different spot. Does that give you inspiration, or is it more do like you? do you prefer to be in your studio or wherever you set up? Is it home and that that you're comfortable you know like I honestly don't mind you don't care yeah no I, I love writing like away like one of my favorite things would be like go to Bali and just hang out and write music by the pool yeah like laptop headphones on and bin That's tang, so good, bin yeah. tang. Yeah, and, um, yeah like it is probably beer o'clock actually yeah you yeah any beers yeah we'll uh let's get two beers going yeah I think so um yeah man I, I love there. just sitting around and writing music like it doesn't matter where I am and I've I used to travel with two laptops, one studio and one um, regular. And yeah. now I just, I've like, the new laptops are fast enough. Like, oh, yeah. I just run everything on my little Mac. They kill 15 it. Like, Pro. I love that. Like, you know, like you said, by the pool. Like, I remember we've been on a cruise and I was on the back of, you know, sitting on a thing on the back of the deck, just on the lappy with like, you yes. know, headphones on or even go to the park and like just sit there for a bit and like, you know, write some tunes. So, um, yeah, sweet. Thanks, brother. Wait, cheers. Cheers, bro. Cheers. So um, I want to know the name, Tenzin. Tenzin. So I, a bit of history. It is the Dalai Lama's actual name. Yeah. So our current Dalai Lama, the spiritual holiness leader of the world, his yep. real name is Tenzin Jiatsu. Yep. And so growing up I had hippie parents, hippie-ish, and they, um, they're like, dad came back from overseas. And he was like, I think, let's call him Tenzin. Yeah. I'm into Buddhism now. <laughs> you yeah, know what yeah. I mean? So, um, yeah, I, I kind of like, it's one of those names, like I got picked on and shit at school. Yeah. You know, 10 cents, 10 pants, like a million little nicknames. Yeah, and, yeah. Um, and then it grows on you and then grow, grew into an art, obviously an artist name. And it's funny now because obviously you, I love it. It's on my name, you know. Yeah, It's yeah. me. It's all me. And um, yeah. the seeing 
like, you know, people at, at, at shows and stuff. So what's your real name? And I'm yeah, like, well, yeah. actually my name. <laughs> yeah, that's my real yeah. name, Tenzin. Well, what do we put on his um, flights? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Tenzin. Yeah. yeah. It's kind of, I'm kind of lucky. I've got the rock star last name of the Stark as well, which yeah. is... um. Ah, oh, yeah, geez, yeah. you got you've got like both both sides of the, <laughs> yeah. of the coin there. Yeah, that's awesome. Superhero. Yeah, for sure. That's cool, man. Um, I I had no idea that that was um that it was your real name, man. Like, because really? we haven't met before in person. No, I, I don't, don't think, think so. I think yeah. mainly just uh, Facebook chat and stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then I think um I think it you know roll in like same circles of people and stuff like you know for like years, remember yeah. yours truly like you yeah, know, yeah, Ollie yeah. and Craig. Craig yeah, man. Craig's my Craig's like my married my cousin. So what? like I see him all the time, man. So, so it's that's like, crazy because that's how that's how me and Ollie kind of got close. He, he I was yeah. working um, doing a bit of A and R and stuff for Bomb Squad Records, and then uh, um, yeah. and doing mix downs and masters for him. So I got I, the track came through and it was yours truly single. Yeah, yeah. And they just they just started it, and I was like, mate, this is all right. It just needs a lot of need a lot of mix work. Yeah. And then yeah. I was like, send me the stems, and I'll just fix it for you, and yeah. then master it, and we'll release it. Yeah. And we put it out for him and that was their first, probably the first and only ever release, I think. Yeah, I think they did some remixes and stuff. Yeah. But yeah, I don't know. It was, um, they had that look going for a while and touring and stuff. But yeah. That was I think, did I day. remix it too? I can't remember. I don't know. I'd love to have a list of all the remixes over yeah. the years. Like, yeah, should that's do, it. I should you, do it one day. Yeah, yeah. Like your discography or whatever, mm. like almost. Well, um, like I'm keen to to keep chatting, but man, let's go let's go jump on the decks and play a few tunes, and yep. then we'll we'll have a break, and we'll we'll come back and you know have another chat about uh, what's been going on and a little bit more about you, man. Yeah, perfect. Let's All do right. it. Sweet. Man, that was that was heaps of fun. Like, uh, that crazy tune that you that you played, like your, your yeah. tune. When did that come out? Like, um, about well, a couple of months just right before lockdown, really. Yeah. Um, so it would have been um, Feb, I think. Yeah. Um, yeah, we um dropped that. It was just um it was just after I got back from China. I remember that. Yeah. Yeah. Because I was so it was like because it goes this shit, this shit, this shit's crazy. I was yeah. and we'd just done it's the ship, so it was like this. Ah, uh, yeah. I was like. It's kind of like this ship, this ship. <laughs> like, yeah, yeah. Almost. It's a little play of words and stuff like that. A bit, like bit that. of yeah. play of words. Yeah, that's a sick tune though. Yeah, it's good, man. It's, um, How did that go for you? Like, go well? It went pretty good, man. Yeah. It's actually sound-wise and stuff, when I drop it in, in my sets, it's one of the biggest like sounding songs yeah. and just thumps. Like, it, yeah. you know, when you, there's, there's one of those songs that just stands out from the others, that's one of them definitely. Yeah, yeah. yeah. A bit of a standout, yeah. yeah. What about, have you, you know, have you, if you had it, you know, send it out to people. How's the support been, um, you know, yeah, from other artists and people like that? There's a few crew playing it. Um, yeah, like I've got always get tagged on, um, you know, the Insta tags. Yeah, everyone's, yeah. everyone's smashing it. People These days, smashing people the are smashing it in the car at the gym and stuff. But yeah. that's, that's about it, really. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's hard. Not many club shows, so they're. Yeah. yeah not, that's cool, man. But hopefully, good, good showing a fair, fairly good support. Yeah, cool. Yeah. yeah, awesome. Um, and then, like you said, it's a ship. Let's. Oh yeah. It's yeah. A ship. Let's talk about that. Like, what's the what's so the go there? Like, first, you're pretty much there every year, is it? Yeah. yeah. Just, so my first one was China. They've they've yeah. been doing it for around three years. So it's the, originally the guys from Future Music Festival Asia. So I met them when I was touring Asia for Future so that's, Music Festival, that's the and then. There. Lost connection for a bit, and then they hit me up and said, "Do you want to come and do China? We're launching. It's, it's the ship in China, where it's regularly, it's generally in Singapore." Yeah. Um. So we went over there and first time in China. Um. How luckily, was it? it's cr- it's really really different. Yeah. It's really different. It's yeah. definitely like there's different hotels for foreigners. Different. There's no Instagrams, no Facebook. It's all blocked. Um. You got everyone is on WeChat. Just one chat that does everything. You pay for stuff with it. It's, it just does everything. It's, it's yeah. very backwards, it's like, but. I didn't spend a whole heap of time there. We did basically just got straight from we flew in from Indonesia, I think, played there, yeah. and then and then flew in and jumped on the ship. Yeah. And I remember getting um oh, one of the funniest bits is <laughs> I was going through customs. You go through customs, obviously, yeah. for the ship, and I've got two bottles of Fireball because I know they don't have it over there, <laughs> and I'm like, yeah. they go, you can't take that on, and um. I just cracked it open and started so going. It. Well, he was some. Sc- You're just the like security, you the, security yeah. the Chinese security started rushed me, and it was like everyone was freaking out. And I'm like, it's fine, it's fine, it's fine. It's all good. Um, it's all good. Yeah. Yeah. And then, someone else have some. I know. Yeah. No one. Uh, no one was. Everyone was too scared. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but, um, that's it. You know. Yeah. But yeah, then you just get on a ship, man, and it's like four thousand people, headliners from all, all across the world, yes, and it's it's like playing a festival. But you're on the top of a cruise liner. 
Well, there's yeah. different stages, but the main stage is on the, the very top in the middle. Yeah. Pulls around. It's wild. Like um, it's an f- amazing experience. Definitely. Yeah. Like that's that's one for the for the books. Is that one coming back next year? You know. Well, you I, so I did that one. I did China. Then I did Singapore. Yeah. The the last one, and then I was supposed to do, but obviously COVID went rampant mm. in ship in every cruise ship. But um, yeah, cruise ships. Every, every, it's <laughs> like really? it's like COVID ship now. But um, hope I don't know for how that'll go in the future. But yeah. I was supposed to do Korea this year. Okay. Um, yeah. And then obviously Singapore. I don't think that'll stop them next year if, if yeah. everything gets back to normal. Yeah. Cool. But um, it's so fun. It's yeah. like, and it's twenty four hours, three days. So you're three out there for three days, four days, three nights, yeah. and it's just non stop. And so, what's that like playing there? Like, were you playing like? So when did you like? I've obviously you've done it a few times, but what's um, what's it like playing in that kind of environment? Is it it's, crazy? Or it's what? just crazy. Like you because the pools just, and stuff. Like you know, just <laughs> ocean for miles. So you're like. You're yeah. in the middle of nowhere. Someone like falls in the, off the off the side and they're just never seen again. You, didn't that, that happen? I think that happened in um it's <laughs> really? in what's holy ship in Okay, yeah, yeah. In Miami. Yeah, yeah. I'm pretty sure that did happen once and Jeez. someone's just they're gone. They're good. They're they're good. No one's in any they, state they, they, to help them either. Check out this this prank. Dive off. <laughs> <laughs> Bye. See you, man. Yeah. But yeah, no, not we should be laughing at it, but it, um it's, stu- <laughs> it's, it a, it's pretty stupid. It's yeah, really yeah. stupid. Let's but it's a good, it. good party and good fun and stuff. It's so and epic. It's like yeah. me and I was hanging out. Who we hung out? Me and Ben, Nicky. Um, we were hanging out heaps. Just get and I brought a good mate of mine, Kill Bill from Sydney. Yeah. And obviously my camera crew and stuff. And they um, we just every night nonstop. Yeah. Like the one thing they do parties everywhere and stuff. Well, you like, just there's this guy's playing on this stage. So there's like five or six stages on yeah, the boat. Yeah. And then you'll go. Oh, let's go down to the bondage party or whatever and like the bondage <laughs> party so do they have was, weird was, stuff like that or weird, it was a weird what was it called I'm trying to think what it's called it was not quite bo- it was looked like a bondage party yeah, yeah I'm not sure that was the name of the theme but um we're downstairs and it was like just dark and crazy and everyone's yeah. whipped and wearing wearing next to nothing yeah but um yeah and then you'll go up to the top and there'll be like um a belly flop contest you know what I mean <laughs> yes, and so then yeah. like we did um who was it me and what's her not did we did rock climbing together. We yep. had a, it was like a rock climbing race against fans. Uh, okay. So yeah. like the fans would go, let's race. <laughs> They'd have to race us. Yeah, yeah. Which was pretty hard being that hungover. I'm not going to lie. Uh, yeah. Like, so like, we'll yeah. be there like this. Like, okay, we're in. We're still here. We're, we're participating. But would they be... They're probably the same as well, like the the people. Oh, the, yeah, the fans. The fans like, exactly. Like, they'd be, they'd everyone's just on the same boat. Everyone's, yeah. on, the, everyone's yeah. on the same boat, pun yeah. intended. Yeah, 100%. <laughs> 100%. Yeah, yeah. yeah, and then um, what else did we do? We did this... We just um, hijacked all the lilos in the middle of the pool, yeah, like, yeah. under the main stage, and like we were just like, floating around. So everyone's like in the pool and stuff, just going wild yeah. as well. And then there's like there's always one or two ballers, that, you know, bringing out like you know sixty. One guy brought out fifty bottles of Dom, was like forty five grand or something, like. Just, just like some stupid. You're like, so stupid you're like mate, and all right, man, we get it. Out, <laughs> we get it, bro. Yeah. Like, just, like the champagne flying everywhere, like. Yeah. But it's a boat. It's allowed to yeah. get wet. <laughs> it's yeah, like, yeah. yeah, that sounds so good, man. And and you know, good weather and stuff too. When well, you're there, like we, chill, so the the first go? the Chinese one, we um, it got we left the dock, and I was like third or second or third on the main stage. Yeah. So I started out, played, and everyone's super pumped to party. So yeah, they're like, yeah. So I, my set was huge, and then it started pissing down. After your yeah, set. After my yeah, set. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, so and the, then, all the good footage is no, of you playing. Yeah. And then everyone else's, well, everyone's like, oh, it's cold. Yeah, like, there was no one. Stuff. Yeah. No one else got as, as big of a crowd until Sander on the last, Sander Vendon on the last night. And it was yeah. like, it was just pumping. But um, the rain, I was talking to, uh, was it? Bass, bass, no, not bass jack, is uh, blaster jacks. I was talking to some blaster jacks, yeah. and um, and they were like, "Mate, we had water. They were picking up the CDJs, and the water was just dripping oh, down. No. Like, like it goes, it was wild. And then yeah. killed the noise. They moved him inside, and they just threw it down. This there was another they call it anchor stage. It's yeah, like just and little jacuzzis everywhere. Bottle yeah. service in the jacuzzis and stuff. It's Jesus. it's it's dope. That sounds so. If sick. you haven't done it, go. It's yeah, the ship, yeah. Singapore. It's amazing. Oh, well, we'll have to yeah. Let us know when the next one's on because that sounds pretty. Amazing. Yeah, all yeah. my friends kind of like fight for who's coming. <laughs> like, yeah, yeah, I'm like, I'm coming, I'm coming, I'm coming. Yeah, yeah. I'm like, but I've got to bring someone to film. <laughs> it's yeah, like, yeah, it's like I can work a camera. I'll learn. Yeah, yeah. yeah that's, 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 that's everyone. Yeah, that's I'll learn how to actually, do it. Funny story. I remember when Timmy Trumpet first blew up. 
yeah. he, I was going to actually learn how to take photos and go on tour in Europe with him and be yeah. and like kind of give up DJ and just go t- just touring with just him. Just be yeah. my best mate. I was like, fuck, yeah. let's do it. Like, yeah. but um, I didn't. Luckily, I had too many shows. Yeah, could, yeah. Like, that'd be fun though. It'd be fun, man. Just hanging out with your, your friend, traveling. I think the that's world. the beauty of like people who have duos that you know that where it's they're real good mates or something like. I reckon that'd be amazing. To, it would to be do, the dream, you know? eh? Yeah. Like, cause you'd like bonker. Like any, like anyone, they're yeah. all best mates here. And it's so much fun when you have someone with you. Yeah. You know what I mean? Better, you know, having someone there to, to have fun and yeah. experience. When you're stuff. solo, you're like, headphones in. <laughs> and you can also like, you know, one of you can have a really big night. And the and other the, one, the other one can up. be there like, come on, man, we've got to go. Like we've yeah. got to fly in the morning and then then you can like switch, you know, switch yeah, yeah, roles. Rotate. Although a lot of the times it's usually one person. Isn't it? it's it's like, always, you know, it's there's always one person who's the, you know, the um, the sensible, more sensible one. Yeah, uh, I've one, seen that actually. Used, loose unit. Many a times yeah. in those duos. There's always one yeah. holding it down a little bit more and one's yeah. just out of control. Yeah. So come on, man, we're going we're gonna, we're gonna to fight If you're both six. out of control, you wouldn't get yeah. booked again. That, well, that's thing. the thing. <laughs> yeah, that's why there's not duos yeah. like that. <laughs> um, but, yeah, it was cool when we were playing before. Like, I had forgotten about all those old, like, the Ministry albums, the One Love albums, all the stuff that you, like, mixed. Yeah, And I man. kind of miss, like, you don't really get these mixed CDs anymore. They're gone, stuff. aren't they? Like, uh, it's like, it used to be so good. Like, it used to be like, oh my God, the new CD's out. Yeah. Yeah. And you're yeah. Like, oh, who mixed it and stuff? So you mixed a heap of the ones that I've like, listened to. Like, so, I think yeah, the, f- I think the first sound one they gave that. me was um, One Love. Yeah. It was a One Love Club, like Club Electro or something it was called back then. Yeah. yeah. Um, God, I couldn't tell you what year it was, but it was, yeah. it was like just, that was my first one and I was pumped. I was super stoked. And like we toured it, uh, we toured the country, me and Andy Murphy. Yep. And, um, and then the next one I think I did was, I think I did, I did Sessions 12. I think I did a Wild as well. Yep. And then I did some Bomb Squad ones. I was going to say, I thought Bomb Squad. You the know, Sessions yeah. one went the biggest. So we, um, we went number one on, uh, number one album yep. overall. We beat like Ed Sheeran. Megan Gaynor, like I remember we were just like, how's this, how's this happening? That's not me. Um, <laughs> guilty. But yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, we beat, we like pipped the number one spot, which was yeah. crazy at the time with so many big artists. So it means they must have sold a fair few um, copies of it, like yeah. a fair few downloads. Yeah. But um, did you have tunes on those or you just mixed yeah, them? Yeah, I can't remember which one it was though. But um, Yeah, yeah. Every compilation you always try and put at least one or two of your, your songs on there. Yeah. Obviously you get paid for them. Because they sell yep. a lot of copies. Um, yeah, yeah. And you want to be touring your own songs. It's... Exactly. Yeah. So oh, excuse throw me. Throw the uh, throw that into the uh, bin. Yeah. Can you okay. Take my phone, please. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> um, um, but yeah, so the compilation things. Like I think I've seen like one or two where people have done the mix because you, you still get compilation albums and yeah. stuff that labels and stuff do, but they're not often like mixed. Like you know, like all the ministry ones and the one love ones. There was you'd always have these mixed. Compilation albums coming out all the time. Yeah, it's so they, good. Do they come out anymore, or is it just straight? Well, it's all out online. Tracks, it's you know, not CDs anymore. Put the actual the continuous mix on there. I think I've seen one recently uh, that Hoodrich might have done, uh, oh, yeah. Jake. But yeah, I, it's but it's not it's not like it used to be. No. Like, it used to be they like, used to sell, like it used to be a thing. Like who mixed this? Seat? Like who's mixing this next? You know, back in the day, like this is to say uh, this is basically showing my age. But we used to have this thing iChat on Mac. And you'd have everyone's eye chat and um oh my god. Sorry. <laughs> no, you're talking um about. so you'd have eye chat on Matt, and basically when you had a compilation coming out, you'd put your eye chat status mixing this compilation, send me all your new songs. Yeah. Because if your yeah. song got on there, you're pretty much guaranteed like 20k back then because yeah, the yeah. sales it was like wild. So yeah. But obviously it's not the same anymore. <laughs> it's not like CDs and stuff, you know. Back oh, yeah. In the day. I always talk about this on the podcast, like you know, on my podcast, it's always like talking about Back when it was the you know, CDs and people were getting vi- like playing on vinyls, it was like you had to get the vinyl. Yeah, you know, like you had to be one of the people who bought the vinyl in the city to be able to play it, kind of thing. Like, like yeah. right back, like it used to be like mental. I remember like I just read an article the other day actually that Ajax, um, the Milo dropped the pressure. Yeah, yeah. Um, and I remember like when I was starting out, I used to go to specifically watch Ajax play because he had that drop the pressure vinyl. And it was yeah. like the track that no one had. Before it was the biggest track, dance track of the time. Yeah. Way before huge. that. Yeah. He had it like two years before it came out. 
on vinyl. And uh, you go and to that's a that's the difference between like, you know, these days these and back, days back then. It used to be like now everyone can listen to everything yeah. unless it's unreleased promo stuff. But it's like back then it was – like it, you said, you would go to see him because you knew that he had that tune that no one else had. No one else had it. And then as soon yeah. as he dropped it, it would be fucking crazy. Like, yeah. Yeah. It was, it was amazing actually going back. And even yeah. when – like, because I grew up on vinyl, started playing. I started playing hip hop nights and um, yeah. and collecting hip hop vinyl. And I ran a hip hop night way back in, in Sydney and um, Taylor Square. Yeah, and um, that's how I kind of started booking myself. Yeah. <laughs> I started booking real DJs, and then um, I booked myself for shows. Yeah, um, in between or before. So many people start that way. Yeah, you got to. Yeah. yeah, and then you slowly, someone else wants to book you, and just trickle slowly. It's been a slow, long yeah. road, but yeah. um. Not complaining. Yeah. Mate, so happy. if we talk about back then, like how did you like get into it? Like what did you – you did music before, right? Like, yeah, before so this? I grew up playing in um, – uh, I was grew up in Byron Bay. Yeah. I uh, grew up playing bass guitar. Like, So my best friend taught me to play bass guitar. Yeah. And then we decided we we're going to join a music school. And we, um, we started this band in this music school. And then he – the owner of the music school, son, he was the best guitarist, better than my friend. So I ended up in the band with – with the owner, with the, yeah. and my best friend who taught me didn't make the band, but then so me and him started <laughs> another band, and it was called Think Straight, and um, we basically was a pop punk, want to be Blink One Eight Two, kind of that kind of yeah, vibe. Yeah, yeah. And then with the guitarist, he started playing drums in that band because he's talented. Um, and then the guitarist from that band's now Parkway Drive, like so. That all that all merged into Parkway Drive from my high school music class. Yeah, was, which is pretty. Pretty pretty crazy shout out yeah. to Parkway. They're yeah, that's mental. absolutely killing it. Yeah, yeah. So you played in bands and then played and stuff. in bands, yeah, and then yeah. I, I played in a bunch of bands. Like, and then I found like you can only go so far. Like, you, a lot of people talk shit. Like, there's a lot of people in the music business who will talk a lot of shit. Yeah, and never deliver. Um, one thing, if you're out there, ugh, sorry. <laughs> Can someone answer that and just it's a, I'll give my phone just answer it until I stop calling. <laughs> um, girls these days, geez. Oh, that's <laughs> just blowing up my phone You're and my podcast. Up. Hey, Mr. Popular um, over here. <laughs> <laughs> and I thought my watch was on silent. Apologies for that. No, nah, it's all um, good, man. So yeah, so you um yeah, everyone was talking shit, and I was like, man, I'm just gonna move to Sydney for a little bit, see what it's all about. Because I was working, I was playing three bands, working probably two or three jobs, like living by myself out of home. Yeah, yeah. And um, I went down there in the dream of being like a session musician or playing in some bands. Yeah. And I had some cool, like, some cool, the one cool story was um, I played in a band with Harry Vander's son, the guy who produced ACDC's Back in Black oh, that's from sick. the Easy yeah. Beats. Yeah. I went into his studio and he'd be like, man, what's this song about, man? Like, like yeah, full, yeah, yeah. full old school stuff. Just wants to know, yeah, just yeah, wants to like, know, like the vibe. Like, is it about a girl? Like, yeah, <laughs> and I'll be like, like, bro, I just wrote the riff before I came in. Like, yeah. And, and like, and then, You're like, um, I don't know what it's about yet. But he's like, yeah, my, my son, he's in, like, he goes, I'm a sick drummer, his son. Anyway, we get in the studio and he's like, starts playing drums and he's like, basic, basic drum level. And he's telling me sponsored and all this stuff, which was absolutely lies. But um, I ended up showing him how to drum it. Drum the songs, his songs, like, yeah, and then left. You taught him. And then yeah. left. But um, yeah, then after that I was, like, bartending, bartender for a few years and then basically started, oh, actually, that's right. I ran my own my own birthday so, party. Oh, okay, yeah. And yeah. then it was so epic that everyone's like, you should start running parties. Do, do more. Why don't you put more parties on? Can you do this again? Yeah, and then yeah. I started running Hip Hop Night and merged into DJing, yeah. buying vinyl. That's about it, man. And then it just went from there. Here we are now. Yeah, and here we are. Yeah. Fast forward, here we are. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I mean, there's so many, like, we could sit here for hours and talk about, like, you know, stories from back, you know, when you're playing at all the festivals and all the different stuff. Yeah. Tours, I'm sure you've got, like, a million. Is it? Um, oh, mate, we've had some. Stories, yeah. There's so many. I was thinking, like, because like, I knew you'd probably ask some, some things like this. I was yeah, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, and I was thinking, man, there's been some funny times, like, but, but getting smoked by Dizzy Rascal at Buck Hunter and stuff. Like, yeah. like, you know, just some getting locked, getting almost arrested for driving golf buggies, you know, things like there's heaps of yeah. ones that I can't even say on here, but yeah, like, yeah, yeah. But, but like some funny stuff. Yeah, yeah. And it's just, it's not real. Like, it feel when you look back on it, you're like, is it? It's like a movie it's almost. It's like, it's a, it's yeah, like, did that really did happen? That really like, happen? like we're yeah. in um, Malaysia 
and we had the Prince of Johor, which is one of the states of Malaysia. Yeah. One of the princes, he'd come to the thing. Anyway, I had his driver, which has the police lights on it, the Porsche yeah. with police lights, and he would go 120 and everyone would just pull over and we'd roll into the festival <laughs> with the police lights on. Yeah. Like, and everyone's like, who the fuck's this? That's and it's like, oh, it's Tenzin and Timmy. <laughs> Tenzin and Timmy, just, yeah. Uh, so have you done much touring with Timmy then? Like yeah, you said, we, you're really good mates. Like we you used to tour Timmy nonstop. Did. Like it would be... Um, Basically, back in the day, you could get Tenzin and Timmy for fifteen hundred dollars. Back then, in the day, <laughs> geez, that must have been a while ago. Yeah. Back in the day, um, mate, yeah, we used to play a lot, and um, obviously, we both lived in Kings Cross together, so like, it was hung out every day too. So you almost did the duo. Well, it we, wasn't a duo, we did, we did some, but you toured together so with we, the we, friends. So we did already pre- done the we thing. We did press shots together once. And, yeah. Um, back in the day, we did. There was a in the mix forum. Do you ever remember that? Do I remember even the yeah. mix? Okay. <laughs> yeah, yeah, of course. Okay, yeah, okay, yeah, okay, yeah. okay. This yeah, is when yeah. we knew we were doing something good. We're like, we did these press shots and it's like, we did one and I'm standing up and one's like leaning over forward and some some keyboard warrior on in the mix forums so photoshopped it so it looked like I was bumming him. And, and, <laughs> yeah. and, and then and there was like pages of people ripping on us and then we were like, oh, we fuck, we, we've almost made it. There's that. Like if people are talking about you that much, you're doing something, yeah. you're doing something right. So that must still be on the internet somewhere. If people Google, go, Google, Google, Google that. Go and find that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Go and look for that if you. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, I'm hilarious. gonna Google that tonight. Yeah, so <laughs> yeah. Like, yeah. yeah, that'll be sick. Um, so then, I guess uh, the question that I want to know is who was the who was the more sensible one and who was the menace? Oh, you both mate, pretty loose on both, the piss. And we're that, both like, useless together. Like yeah. we're both. Tragic. That's why you're not a duo. Oh, yeah, hundred <laughs> percent. Like we are. Yeah, not known for coming home. <laughs> no, yeah. not unknown for making flights. Um, yeah, the amount of flights we probably missed and yeah. hangovers. There's definitely no. Oh, he would be sensible in the morning. I remember I almost got kicked off a plane one day because I wouldn't. Back when you weren't allowed to wear your headphones on the plane, and I was so hungover, a- and I was. She's going, take your headphones off, sir. And Timmy's going, just take them off. I'm like, no. No, the captain said to take off. I go, I am the captain. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> like, and then I was like, and I just went back to sleep. Like, I was like Fuck yeah, I'm yeah. not doing it. I don't remember that those Dude, days. That must have been ages allowed, ago. You, remember you used to have to take your headphones off before landing. Like it was bad. And then if you had noise cancelling because the light was on, they're like, that's an electronic device. Like that's how yeah. crazy it was. And now, 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 now you're, you're like, like in there producing yeah, tunes yeah. Up, and, up and there you get it's, Wi-Fi and shit. And it's and like things. the technology in planes, they're still the same old planes they've been flying from then. The whole like time. Like the 50-year-old planes. Yeah. Nothing's changed. Yeah. It's just they just made a stupid rule. Yeah. yeah. So what's – um like what do we got in terms of, you know, we've talked about some and I've listened to some of like your tunes and stuff that you're working on. What's the plan for when we come out of COVID? Like – touring again like Wait, hitting the touring life because you said you're missing yeah, it I definitely do miss it like there's something you get from playing live shows that you just don't get it anywhere it's like it's that different. it's an energy isn't it yeah, like it's from a, the crowd and stuff like that it's a sense of I don't know being sense of feeling like you just feel like you it's a rush it's adrenaline it's everything yeah. like you're in there and you're having fun and you're making people have fun which is probably the, the rewarding part of it yeah um it's yeah, mate. I can't wait to tour again. Could yeah. get a couple of shows going. It feels yeah, well, like you said you might have the 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 thing at. Um, hopefully, get a um, Halloween gig somewhere, Halloween and gig, then, yeah. and then hopefully after that, we're just like there's, there's still gigs in my calendar from pre-COVID. Yeah, but they're just not happening. <laughs> like, yeah, so, yeah. So it's like to see what yeah what just, comes back. Yeah. So hopefully, we, hopefully the scene turns around quick. Like it should. Um, you see, a friend of mine's. Um, in China and Wuhan, where the corona started, yeah. it's pumping. Like yeah. clubs are heaving. Because everyone wants to go out and do the stuff. Well, you missed just, it. You haven't got to do it. Yeah, yeah exactly. I don't know. You it's don't, like it looks it's like, like everyone says it's, you don't know what you've what you had till it was gone, sort of Totally. Thing, like, that's know, so. that's true. Yeah. So um I mean, usually I always ask people where can we find you on the socials, but man, Tenzin, it's so yeah, easy it's to find. DJ Tenzin, like Tenzin, DJ Tenzin, Google yeah. it. Um definitely not the last airbender. <laughs> Um, <laughs> yeah, yeah, not that guy. Just, just Tenzin. Yeah. Just Tenzin. That's my name. Um, DJ Tenzin. Tenzin DJ on Facebook. And that's it. Tenzin on Instagram. Yeah. I'm not on TikTok. Not on TikTok? Yet. Nah. Oh, mate, what's going on? Not doing it. Have to talk I'm to your management, in. mate. We'll have to talk to your management. Might have and, to. Uh, they'll, I'll get them to force you to do it. <laughs> <laughs> At least no. your music's on there, though, right? I'm Probably. sure they would have sorted that out. 
Yeah, 100%. Yeah. 100%. Yeah, for yeah. sure. All right, man. Well, All right. great chat. Good great to, cheers. Uh, Thank good you. To, good to, you know, get to know you a bit better and, um, you know, let everyone else out there know a little bit more about some of the things that you've done and, you know, because there's a big history there and stuff like that. So, hey, um, appreciate it. Thank you. Thanks for yeah, having me. Really good. Guys, awesome. check out Tenzin. Like, <laughs> check out his music. Um, you know, there's heaps of, heaps of tunes in the works and we were listening to some unreleased stuff before. So, I can't wait till we can, uh, you know, let other people listen to that stuff. Yeah, I know. Me too. Me yeah. too. Right, very man. soon. Very soon. Yeah, sick. All right, guys. All right. Thanks for watching. Um, hopefully, you guys will see the next few episodes. We've got some really cool stuff um, with a heap of the catch artists. So make sure you guys are looking out for all the episodes. Awesome. Cheers, man. Cheers, man. Thank you. Peace.